to put it into perspective, I paid as much for my barbell as I did for the power rack. Hey guys, workshop workouts here, picking up with my four pieces to a home gym series. So last time I discussed what kind of rack I have and some things to consider when buying a rack. Next thing we wanna talk about is the barbell. So some consider this piece the most important piece of equipment in your home gym. It's also the piece of equipment that could potentially last the longest. And ideally you will get a bar that if you take care of, you never have to replace and you can keep it for as long as you're lifting. So a couple of things to keep in mind with the bar. There's essentially two broad categories for the sake of our video uh, that bars can come in. There's cheap bars and expensive bars. Okay, so let's be a little bit more specific. There's big box brand bars, barbells that you may get from Dick's Sporting Goods or Walmart. I don't know if Target sells barbells, something like that. Those bars are generally gonna be lower quality and they're gonna be priced at around the $200 and below range. These bars are probably gonna rust quickly. They're not gonna be rated for very much weight. So if you try to load up more than three or 400 pounds on these bars, they will bend or break. Avoid those bars. Pay a little bit more for your first barbell. To put it into perspective, I paid as much for my barbell as I did for the power rack, right? So part of that is I picked a cheap power rack, not cheap in the sense of cheap quality, but cheap in the sense of really high value, uh, low dollar price for it. I paid uh, 280, I think 285 for my bar and around 260 for the rack. So uh, just a, a hair more expensive. So avoid the big box stores, get more of a specialty maker bar, um, a reputable fitness company that you've heard of like Rogue or American Barbell, um, Titan, Cap Barbell makes some good bars. They also make some cheaper bars. And a company out of my home state of Tennessee called Frey Fitness, they're out of Memphis, Tennessee. Look to pay anywhere between two to 300, up to as much as 400 for your first barbell. Couple of things to keep in mind when you're looking for your first bar. Uh, bars come in a variety of different thicknesses. Right? There's most common thicknesses are 28 millimeter and 29 millimeter. I think they also have 28 and a half. Um, I believe this is a 28 or a 28 and a half millimeter. So it's a little bit uh, smaller. You can tell the difference if you're used to lifting with a 29 millimeter, it's slightly thicker. This also, uh, this bar has a good amount of whip. So whip is basically bendability. Um, why should you care about whip? You should really only care about whip if you're lifting Olympic style lifts, right? So lifting the bar high up in the air and then dropping it to the ground, right? If you're gonna be doing that, you want your bar to have a little bit of give. Another thing to keep in mind is coating. So this has a black Cerakote finish. Um, Cerakote is a ceramic like material. It's supposed to keep the bar from rusting as quickly and it looks cool. They sell bars in tons of different colors. So you can kind of go wild there. When you're looking to buy your first bar, look for damaged bars, okay? There's tons of bars like this. Rogue does a ton of bars like this. This actually was a damaged bar from American Barbell. Um, so these fitness companies, these equipment companies have very, very high standards for their equipment. And if there's just the, the slightest thing wrong, they'll consider it subpar quality and they'll sell it at a discounted price, which is awesome for the consumer. Um, I think this bar was originally like a 350-ish dollar bar. Um, and it was discounted down to 285, like I said. So that's, that's good. Keep an eye out for that. I know Rogue does the same thing. One last detail that I didn't consider 
when I was buying a bar that I kind of wish that I had. It's, it's not a make or break thing for me, but it is these notches, okay? So the bars that I was used to lifting with had two notches. Maybe you're used to lifting with those kinds of bars too. Till I got my own and I realized that this just has one. So is it a huge deal? Not really. Um, it's just something that you'll have to get used to. Last thing to consider is knurl. Um, whether or not there's any knurling in the middle or whether it's smooth like mine, and also how aggressive the knurl is. So the more aggressive the knurl on a barbell, the spikier it's gonna be and the more it's gonna cut into your hand, right? The knurl on my bar is more medium um, and I kind of like it that way. I don't like it digging into my hands. I've lifted with bars like that and it actually hurts when you're going for uh, like a PR on bench press or something and you're not using gloves, it, it really hurts. It kind of digs into your hand. So that's just personal preference, just things to keep in mind um, when looking for your first bar. And um, again, the bar that I have is the American Barbell Training Bar. I really like it. Um, the thing that I like most about it is I got it for a good price. But also you can tell it's really strong quality. It has some decent, some. So it has like a medium amount of whip. So when I'm lifting a heavy load, like doing a rack pull or a heavy squat, I can feel a little bit of bend, which is just something that I needed to get used to. It's not a huge deal. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. So you have to pay a little bit more for a super stiff bar. So. Those are all just things to keep in mind. Good luck hunting for a barbell. I would look sooner than later because the price of gym equipment is only going up by the day. Guys, if you're on the fence, now it's time to get off the fence and make a purchase because I'm telling you, time's running out. Prices are going up uh, and the price of steel is actually going up too. So keep those things in mind. Look for these bars on discount. Um, yeah. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I try to put out new videos at least every week on a range of different topics. I'm just getting started with the channel, so I'm still experimenting and figuring out um, what kind of content is gonna be on the channel. But if you've been interested so far, please stick around. Who knows what's gonna happen in the future? And thanks for watching.